We're talking with Sue Ann Schutz Rogers, board member, Western Stock Show Association, vice chair of the Capital Campaign. Thank you so much for your time today. Well, thank you for interviewing me. Sue, first of all, let, let me talk a, just a little bit about you. Tell me where and how you grew up. Well, I'm from Kansas mm -hmm. and grew up Kansas, educated, University of Kansas, and then taught school in Kansas City, and then married and moved elsewhere, and uh, then divorced and moved to Colorado because my family had all moved out here. Right. And so moved to Colorado in 1973. What got all of this stock show into your blood? Well, basically, I think my DNA is farming, ranching, stock show, just, it all goes together. Right, you really call yourself a rancher. Well, I do, yeah. I'm not there 365 days out of the year. Right. But I am in contact almost every day with my ranch manager. I'm very much like to be hands-on. Sure. So I know where the cows are, the hay, and et cetera that goes with it. And growing up in Kansas in a small town in central Kansas, there's a lot of land. Right. And my family, grandfather, always owned land. Mm -hmm. And so I would drive out with my father and the wheat fields and all that. And so it's just part of my DNA. Part of your DNA. So what does a, being a Westerner mean to you? You know, to me it's a very special thing because I love rural anyway. Right. And uh, do quite a bit of work in rural Colorado. But being a Westerner, their values are different than some of the, no offense to anyone from the cities. Right. But they're close to the land. Sure. And it's hard work taking care of cattle or if you're farming, right. you know, all of that. It's just a kind of a true grit type of personality to me. Right, and, and those people love getting their hands in the earth. We do. <laughs> yeah. Now, at the 2019 Stock Show, it was announced that the Livestock Center would forever bear your name in recognition of all your tremendous support of the capital campaign. That has got to be terribly meaningful to you. Well, it is. Uh, I'm not really big on having my name, naming things, but Angela could, you know, sell the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And has several times, <laughs> I and believe. I think she has. Yes. <laughs> and she just insisted, as did Paul. And I said, well, okay, but that's a really a big mouthful, the name. I mean, that's. Right. So I go by either Sue Anschutz, I have several aliases. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then for so it's sort of Sue Anschutz, and then you go over the mountains, and I'm just playing off Sue Rogers. Which is fine. Yeah. You know. But it all works? It all works. Very few buildings really of that magnitude in the country bear the name of a woman, especially in agriculture. So this is, uh, with the Livestock Center, this has got to be a great tribute to you. Well, it is, you know, and I think there are a lot more women, speaking of women, in ranching than most people realize. Right, right. And the other thing people don't realize is if their husbands say is the ranch manager, the wives know as much as they do. <laughs> and I'm not sure some of them would have the managerial skills, but they know, you know, the ranching part very well. Right. Um, your involvement with the stock show goes back decades, and certainly there's been a lot of change. Now, with all that's going on and certainly a lot more change coming, what are your thoughts about the stock show and everything that's in the future, or in the immediate future for it? Well, you know, we, this campaign is what in its second year. Right. And it, it's going to be a long haul. There's no doubt about it. A hundred million dollars is a lot of money. Sure. And But we're making great progress so far. And with Angela at the helm, you have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> There's another very strong woman. <laughs> she is. Yeah. But we will make it. We right. might be a year late. As you know, capital campaigns don't always come in right on the date sure. they have. But I think we'll make it. And I think the best thing about this is that we've obtained more land. Right. I was so concerned. To be quite truthful with you, I serve on the executive committee also. Right. And when we started talking about this like five, six, seven years ago, I was really for moving because it's a lot less expensive to build from the ground up right. than trying to redo buildings 
and redo everything that we've done. And so I was really all for moving if they could find, say, 200 acres. Right. But that didn't go too far. Right. Well, and now, I won't say that you were voted down, but now that it is staying <laughs> in Denver, uh, um, that's really important to the, the fiber of the stock show. Well, it is, but they, there is land in Denver, but it got a little farther out. Right, right. You know, towards DIA in that area. So, when you think about your kids, your grandkids, and then their kids coming to the National Western Sox Show years and years from now, what are you going to hope they find? Well, you know, all of them, since uh, I'm as old as Methuselah, <laughs> okay, all my grandkids are grown. Right. So they've been coming to the stock show okay. for many years. And uh, I just hope that they feel as strongly as I do that the National Western is just part of it's very historical right? for Denver, Colorado, and neighboring states, and that it's just part of Denver, and, and they enjoy it very much. Right, and when you may get 700,000 out to visit over the 16 days in mm -hmm. 2020, the enlightenment that you give to this audience that would never see stock show right. is got to be rewarding as well. I think it is, because you know, so many kids today actually think their food, like a quart of milk, right. just comes straight from the grocery store. Right. You know, they have no idea there's a cow involved. Right. Yeah. So when I, when I see a lot of the pictures, uh, there's one on the front of the post with the shearing of the sheep and that sort mm -hmm. of thing, there's a sense of wonderment in these kids. So everything that the stock show produces is not lost on, on these city kids. Right? I don't think it is. I think it's truly so, very educational. And it comes as a big surprise to some of them. Right. What's been the most satisfying thing in all that you've done and all this capital campaign that, that you've seen so far? Well, everything is, uh, I'm impressed with everything, put it that way, because the plan in this capital campaign, bringing CSU into it, sure. was absolutely a great natural marriage. Right. And I think that really is going to be extremely helpful. Right. But of everything, the project that I really am interested in is the catch a calf. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And then I sponsor one every year and have for 25, 26 years. Wow. But I really enjoy being out here. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, how great that is. And, and everything that's going on, everybody's happy about it, and it seems to be pretty successful to this point. Did you find it was a steep hill to climb, or has everybody pretty much gotten on board and been happy about it? Well, you know, to be very truthful with you, I'm a terrible fundraiser. <laughs> I really don't like asking for money. Yeah, I'd much it's rather, not easy. I, no, it's not. And people, some people are excellent sure. at it. My fundraising is, you wouldn't really like to give $100,000, would you? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, and I'd like to go back to your first question, if I may. Sure. To clarify something, yes, ranching is my passion. Right. But I also have many interests, and the other one is, I run the Anschutz Family Foundation. Right and have for oh, a really long time. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so philanthropy is very important to me. I'm very interested in rural since I have rural roots right. and I realized that rural Colorado was being left out of the funding. And so we've started this thing called Rural Philanthropy Days, which works very well. Is that working for you? 30 years. Oh, good for you. Boy, that's tremendous. And the foundation is, is terrific, too. We didn't want to slight that. Now, with all of that that you've talked about and, and all that we've discussed and the success of this campaign, what do you want your legacy to be here? Basically, you know, I tried to do the best I could sure. to help those disadvantaged from the philanthropy side. And, of course, in ranching, I have served on the uh, Colorado Cattlemen's Land Trust Board for 20-some years. And I'm very interested in land conservation because, as my father told me as a young girl driving through the wheat fields of Kansas and reminded me in later life, he said, Sue, there's only so much land. Right. Take care of it. Wow. Good for you. And that has stuck with you. You're mentioning it now. That has stuck with you. Oh, it's really stuck with me. That also is part of your DNA. Mm -hmm. That is. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very much into land conservation. Well, your foundation, the capital campaign, the National Western, and, and all that you've done, I can't, I can't thank you enough personally, and I'm sure Denver feels the same way, and I appreciate your time today. Well, thank you very much. It's been interesting. All right. Sue Anschutz Rogers. Thank you very much. Continued great success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.